everyone welcome to watch it paint it today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different again and i'm going to be showing you some of the kit that i use during the videos and tutorials i make i'll be showing you the water pot that i use to wet in my brush as well as the little model holder that i used to uh, keep my hands free from touching the model that a lot of you have asked me about in the comments so i use a non-spill water pot from quick draw supplies which i bought when i first started painting I've been in contact with them since I started making these tutorial videos and they've very kindly offered to support the channel and supply me some of these to do a giveaway during the video. So after I've done a quick review of the product and shown you a little bit more about it, I'll tell you how you can uh, win one of these pots for yourself. So let me show you the product. It's made of plastic so it's non-smashable. It's 59 pence and it's available in four colours from Quick Draw Supplies and as you can see it comes into its own in the fact it's a non-spill version. Uh, it has a little stopper to stop the water coming out of the, the hole, as well as this lid which catches water if it spills. So the stopper and the lid are both removable, as you can see. And it has a little line on it, which is it's difficult to see in the video, but it's where my thumb is now. And if you fill it to there, that's about the amount of water it can handle without it pouring out of the hole, which is uh, in the middle of the pot. So if anything like me and you find this ever happening, or if you've got one of these, or even one of these, then the non-spill aspect of this pot will be quite quite handy for you. So hopefully as you can see I've put some water in this pot now, with the lid and the stopper firmly in place, the water doesn't pour out. Now if I shook it too vigorously, some droplets would, would manage to squeeze out, so I wouldn't recommend putting water in in this and chucking it in your bag or anything like that. But hopefully you can imagine the stop is quite useful to put back in if you're leaving the water unattended on your desk and you do have kids or pets. But more realistically you are going to be using it without the stopper on. So I'll try and demonstrate it doesn't pour out like this. So if you were to knock it, so like this, hopefully you can see the water is not pouring all over my desk. The tiny little drop here, possibly on the bottom, well you can see it wasn't in line. If I roll it around, you can see the sort of lack of spillage there is. There's a single drop here, and that's me splashing it, and a single drop here. So most of the water's still in. Um, I would demonstrate what would happen without it on, but I'm sure you can imagine water will just pour all over my desk. So that's, that's a useful feature. And with a little bit more force, more realistically, you're painting, and boom, it falls over. If you could see, but few milliliters of water spill out um, I've been rolling this around on my desk and splashing it and you can see there's there's nothing this wouldn't this won't do make do any damage to my desk whereas before I had a non-spill one this would get knocked over quickly run and grab a towel and save my computer so hopefully you can see that so that's pretty good I'm happy with that but it still leaves the best part of this product and this, that's the stopper um, I'd buy this product just for this alone I'd highly highly recommend this I recommend this highly highly recommend this one and you'll have seen this in my videos but in all of my videos in fact I use it to to hold my models as I'll demonstrate so you'll already have seen it but I take an Arcadia Quest model and Interestingly enough, that fits perfectly in the base. And a little bit of blue tack on the bottom of the model, like so. And then slot this in there. And that fits on firmly there. And there's what I think is the best holder for painting models of this size anyway that I've used. Um, it, it's firmly attached. Much better than cork. I was using cork before and that just came off all the time. And I've used the tops of my paint pots and that, that's nowhere near as good. This is small enough that it's not in the way. Uh, and it's wider than the model at the bottom. So it gives you a very, very good firm grip. And then underneath, as you can see, it's actually got this handle to remove it from the pot. But that's perfect for holding, holding the model as you're painting. I'm actually right-handed, so... Well, like this, do, 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 do. And you can give it a twirl very easily, gives you good control. Gives you, because it's wide, the bottom you can press down firmly on the base if you need to hold it for more precision work. 
there you go. So a lot of people have been asking me about what I use to hold the models and now you all know. As I said, this product's available from Quick Draw Supplies. I'll put the link in the description below. If, you, if you're looking to buy this project, buy it from them as they do support the channel. Speaking of which, they've given me some pots to give away to some lucky viewers in the channel. Uh, they're available in these four colours here and I will give away two of them to a one lucky winner and I'll let you pick whichever colours you'd like. So if you'd like to enter, just uh, click subscribe below and leave us a comment. And then I'll pick a random winner out of those by the end of the month, so the end of June 2017. Thanks for watching.